Bia Chopra Pondic. Thank you for accepting to share your ideas about entrepreneurship with a student from Tanam University. Let me ask you three questions. Okay, so my first question is, what is entrepreneurship? Can you create a term, please? Uh, probably the easiest if you talk about the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So who is the entrepreneur? What the, what the entrepreneur should do? So entrepreneur is a, is a person who has an innovative business idea. Uh, the, he or she takes the risk to implement this idea and form a company, so act company leader and he or she has the full responsibility to execute this idea and sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not, so it takes the risk. So what is important here is to, is to separate uh, the businessman and from entrepreneur. Businessman is working for money, mm -hmm. uh, runs a company and makes money, hopefully. Entrepreneur is much more uh, starting with something new, something innovative, right? So the definition of innovation is to do something new or just implement something new. And also, the entrepreneur is the one who forms the new organization, the new entity, the new company to to make this idea as a, to come uh, to come reality. Mm, that's very clear. Thank you. Now, so do you think that everyone can become an entrepreneur? Uh, definitely no. It, mm. Entrepreneurship is uh, is good for many people, and uh, and definitely not good for for so many different personalities. So somebody who wants to have a very stable job in the next forty years and doesn't want to take any risk, probably entrepreneurship is not the best way uh, for for them. But if somebody would like to uh, make something new, make some impact. Um, have some good creative ideas in mind and want to see how is the, is the benefit and the value uh, for everyone around the company once they are successful. Entrepreneurship can be good for so many people. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us about the quality needed to be a successful entrepreneur? There is no one recipe. So it's mm -hmm. not like a checklist, like if you fit to this category, you will be successful. There are some common values or common like characteristics of the successful leaders. And there are many. First of all, uh, most of them are rather open-minded. So open for, for new ideas, open for inputs, open for even for critics, criticism. So um, most of the good entrepreneurs are definitely listen to, to their colleagues and collect the, uh, the suggestions, how to make things better. Uh, second of all is uh, you can't do everything in the same time. So you have to be focused. So very few entrepreneurs like Elon Musk can, can run several companies in the same time, but you know, he's exceptional. So most of us can focus on one or two things in the same time. Even one is pretty okay. Um, many a uh, entrepreneurs are influential, means they have some kind of, uh, they have a vision and they can influence the people. So they have to, they, they can motivate the people to, to work with them. It's also very important for a, for a startup, for, a, for an entrepreneur in the beginning, because they don't have, normally they don't have resources, right? They not much money, a little bit of vision, a little bit of creativity, and uh, this is why leaders should be influential. Uh, also, have to be dedicated, willful. It means like uh, uh, they have to convince people that if we have the vision, if we want to do something, we will do that. We, maybe we don't know the way, but we definitely will, will make things done. Modest is also a common characteristic. We know how fragile is it as an enterprise, a startup, how many easy way we have to screw up things. Therefore, it's good to, good to be modest. Um, also, it's an endless um, learning. Learning about ourselves, learning about the clients, learning about our colleagues. Um, we need to have some kind of self-reflection to, uh, to make things better. So we are not perfect. We have to get the feedback and we have to know uh, how to make things better. And he, we ourselves, how we can make, uh, uh, make our job better. 
Um, process oriented is very was a very important element because uh, in a startup, in a certain stage of the startup, in the beginning, like everyone is involved in everything, and it's a very nice area of uh, for life of a startup, but it's not very efficient. So you have to establish procedures, processes, and make the processes better because it saves time and energy, and even help your colleagues and clients to 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 have better values. Um, Charismatic is something related to, to the other soft elements of leadership, uh, or to convince people. Um, empathy is also important because you have to be, um, you have to be, uh, in the way to, to make things done, you have to listen, you have to understand the clients, you have to understand what the colleagues say because sometimes they know much more about the clients than, than your stuff. And, um, Probably the last one is, is you have to be brave enough, you have to take risk and because in the beginning it, there will be a lot of ambiguity, ambiguous things around the entrepreneurship because if it would be easy, everyone, if it's easy everyone would do the same and right? everyone would copy you. So you have to take the risk and you have to trust yourself and you, you have to make a yeah, you have to be brave enough to, to start to, yeah, to an area where uh, probably nobody else were before. Probably these are the most like uh, important elements. Obviously, it's, it's again, it's not a checklist if you have like I don't know like two out of out of the ten, then you will be successful. These are the most like uh, common areas, and obviously some of the some of the famous leaders like Steve Jobs, for example, about empathy, he had literally zero. Right? But however, he became very very successful. So again, these are the, the most common elements, uh, even if it's not a determination. So it's good to have this. Uh, in terms of money, even without this, many businessmen can make money. But this is how we, we separate right? the entrepreneurs and the, and the businessmen. So this is how you, what kind of uh, cost, characteristics good to have if you want to be an influential and impactful. Once again, thank you very much for sharing your talks with us. Yeah, thank you.